So I'm out today testing, look at that, M10. Uh, it's a rental. I did not buy this. I cannot afford this camera at this moment. But my cue's screwing up on me. I did not buy this because the cue's screwing up. I bought it because I just wanted to try it, especially at this time in my life uh, with my father passing and everything. Really just motivated to like get things done uh, and not really sit on things. So yeah, really excited to uh, shoot with this thing today. Don't have too much to say, so honestly just want to get out, shoot, see what I can capture. May not even be good, but it's not the point. So let's get this. My mom. Nothing. I hate this little nudge here. Nudge. It sucks. I'm like, why did Leica make cameras and like not, not include a damn lever? It's so much better. I'm just upset that they like they don't have any thumb rests that have a hot shoe mount. Mm -hmm. so they can like attach a flat. Yeah. Yeah, this is a million times better. Is that the 28? Yep. I see the, that real quick. Oh, no. The old Voight Lander? Yeah. I'm about to get the new one though. Yeah, I've been uh... Shit. <laughs> been almost like two months since I have rented that Leica M10, my second dream camera, uh, because my first is my first and like true, true love, my Leica M6. And um, yeah, I was like, let's give this M10 a go. Um, again, if you have not watched like the last video, you've kind of wondering, been wondering where I've been, um, these past two months, I'd encourage you to go check out that video, but just to give you the quick of it, because it's not like a super heavy, like photography video, there's no photos or nothing in it, but, uh, I lost my father, uh, he passed away and very suddenly, um, 
and uh, I uh, wanted to just live out my dreams. <laughs> I was just like, man, screw it. Um, we're going to check off this bucket list and do the things in life that we really want to do. And for me, personally, one of those things was to try the Leica M10, buy the Leica M10, use the Leica M10. Um, but yeah, I only rented it. And I just want to share my thoughts on the camera. So in terms of, and obviously I don't have it anymore, just uh, the result from the camera, the sensor, the image, when you snap and take a photo, um, good God, like the dynamic range, the the color, just whatever's happening inside of that camera body is pretty ridiculous. Like, not going to lie, you get a freaking beautiful image out of that camera. That camera produces some ridiculously beautiful images. Um, I love the color, uh, the functionality of the camera. It's exactly, honestly, just like this M6. Uh, it's, it's literally like the same size um, as the M6 and the, the only thing, unless you have like the M10D, it doesn't have focus lever and the ISO dials where the film lever rewind is. And then obviously, yeah, it's all digital and whatnot. Um, but yeah, in terms of functionality, just rocking that and the M6 side by side, pretty much the exact same camera. And that's what I love about Leica. They're just design philosophy and just keeping things simple and whatnot, you're able to just pick up the camera, put a battery in it, and literally just start shooting. Um, there are a few things I did not like about the camera. Um, not a few things. There was just one thing. And that was on the shutter dial, there was like these incremental half stops, um, which I really hated. It doesn't do it on the M6. It, it, it rotates and it's full stops, but on the M10, it would do a half stop in between each stop, and that was annoying because, yeah, being familiar with just, like, how the camera works, and I believe this is the same situation on my Q. I could be wrong because I did sell the Leica Q as well, not for the M10. I'll explain that later in a video because I have so many photos I shot with the Q, the 10 documentary street stuff that I still want to share across this channel, um, and just my whole journey to where I'm at on the digital side of things. But not having just full stops was really weird because I'm so used to just looking at a scene with my M6 and just knowing what the heck I'm doing without looking at the camera. I know what stops and stuff I'm changing uh, without having to look down at the camera to make sure I'm at the right stop. So that was just bugging me because I'm just so used to this. It's not like a huge downside or anything to the camera. Um, the other thing is just, although the image out of that camera is very beautiful, um, I don't know. Digital for me is just obviously not as fun as film. I enjoy grain. Um, I enjoy the different colors and stuff that you get out of film. And, you know, if I'm leaning towards a digital camera, that's kind of what I, I want out of it. I want to be able to just, and I know you can do this stuff in Lightroom, um, or just any type of photo editing app, but I really want that result straight out of camera. And with cameras I've used in the past, obviously you can get that with Fuji cameras and stuff. You can get, you can literally build a look in camera and get it just straight out of the camera. And I'm not saying I wish like I did this. Um, it would be nice if you can kind of just like build a, a color look. And I think you can a little bit by just changing some of the settings, but not to the extent I would like to. And, you know, I, again, believe in Leica's, like, design and simplicity philosophy and everything. But if you're paying that much money, I definitely would like to have a few more just in-body features. Keep the buttons on the outside and everything simple and whatnot. Be able to change one or two of the buttons by the back screen to, to customize them where you need to. But, yeah. I just want a little bit more for that price I'm paying, but otherwise, it's a absolutely freaking amazing camera. Another thing, this is not really something that was with the camera, but the lens I was using. I was using my 35mm Sumerit lens, uh, which I made plenty of videos on shooting with that, and I've been using that lens pretty heavily over just the course of these past, like, 
almost 12 months, and uh, I really enjoyed that lens, but starting to use it on the M10 and then exploring 28 millimeter, um, I've kind of started to make the transition, not, f not, you know, internally to switch to 28, but at this current moment, I'm just enjoying 28 better, more than 35, and with that lens specifically, the M10 has kind of just revealed and some other cameras I've been messing with it on. Um, I don't like that lens that much. <laughs> I've experienced the glory that is a spherical. <laughs> and um, I've experienced the glory that is just sharper lenses. And just looking at that photo, I don't like it. Like, I don't think it's that sharp um, anymore. Uh, I've, I've finally have, like, shot some new stuff on film with that lens and a 28 and um just comparing the two in terms of just sharpness alone there was a problem i was experiencing with my film photos that i did not realize was the problem of the lens uh that lens specifically there's no haze fungus nothing like that in it it was a clean lens super speedy lens and everything but i just did not like the sharpness so that kind of just like deterred my enjoyment of the M10, but I had not yet tried a newer lens on the M10 to really come to that conclusion when I had the camera. So overall, I'm really proud of just the photos I made with the M10, regardless of not liking the lens I was using with it or just, you know, the digitalness <laughs> of it I know I was getting myself into, but um, it just isn't for me. Uh, it's a great camera. Will I ever return to the M10? I mean, they just announced that stupid M10, black paint, good God almighty. And I'm just like, you know, at one point in life, I probably am going to own that camera. Maybe 20 years from now, maybe 30 years from now, maybe 10 years from now, maybe a week from now. Who knows? Um, I, I'm, I just, good Lord. <laughs> like, come on now. They can't release beautiful stuff like that. I want that camera just to have it, you know, just, just to, just to have it, just to let it get all rusty and just torn up and just, ah, I just, I want that in my life just for the sake of just stupid, stupid gluttony or whatever. <laughs> but overall, it's a good camera. I enjoy it. If you're thinking about picking it up and you, if you can afford this camera, big it up. <laughs> Have fun with it. Go all out. I believe Leica is an absolutely amazing brand, but for me personally, Leica Digital Right now, is just not for me. Uh, I don't get the result I want just straight out of camera because I'm lazy and I don't like to edit too much, you know? And so I enjoy film. Really just convert the photo once you scan it and that's it. <laughs> uh, do a little contrast adjustments here and there. Call it a day. And you can do that with the M10 stuff. And uh, yeah, just not for me. But thank you guys for watching this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one. Like a... <laughs>